Welcome to the Lucky 38. Quite the sight, isn't it? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. My name is Andrew Ryan. I stand before you not just as a man, but as a symbol of freedom. In Rapture, I created a sanctuary for the greatest minds, a utopia, where one's work, one's life, one's very essence belongs solely to them. But today, I debate a man who believes in control in ruling over the masses with a cold, calculating grip. A charming introduction, Mr. Ryan. But let us not confuse tyranny with governance. In New Vegas, I have provided stability, security, and prosperity. Through technology and careful planning, I've laid the groundwork for humanity's future, a future that transcends the chaos of unchecked freedom and the anarchy it inevitably leads to. Rapture was founded on the principle that a man is entitled to the sweat of his brow. Your vision strips man of his autonomy, reducing him to a cog in a machine, all for the sake of a greater good that ultimately serves none but yourself. Your utopia, Mr. Ryan, collapsed under the weight of its own ideals, without guidance, without a hand to steer humanity away from its self-destructive tendencies, liberty becomes a gateway to ruin. My rule is not about suppression. It's about elevation. Elevation through technology. Is a bird elevated when caged? True greatness comes from within, from the struggle of the individual against the constraints that bind him. You offer a gilded cage, Mr. House. A future where humanity is preserved like specimens in a lab. Not living, not free. The world outside is harsh, unforgiving. I offer a shield against that storm, a chance for civilization to rebuild and flourish. Your idealism is admirable, but it is ultimately flawed. The world needs direction, order, elements you failed to provide. We went under the ocean to escape the confines of a system that would not see it our way. You talk of the world outside as harsh, but this is a world where survival of the fittest reigns supreme. Countless human lives are wasted each day while these lawless tribals run rampant. Perhaps your survival of the fittest ideology worked long ago, but to save humanity, I need living humans. And yet you surround yourself with machines. You speak through a digital veil. And monstrosities such as the ones birthed from Rapture are preferable to a machine? My Securitrons are capable of handling tasks that humans are not fit to accomplish. My work is delicate, and I would not leave it in the hands of those who never knew a world before the bombs fell. Then it is not a matter of capability, but one of subservience. Because man chooses, while your Securitrons obey. Wasteland savages are not capable of following instructions from someone who is more knowledgeable than they could hope to become. Such is the fault with visionary leaders such as yourself. You believe that you know better than a man does for himself. Would you not call yourself a visionary? I would not use the term to describe you, but your delusions of grandeur lead me to believe you think rather highly of yourself. Look at the failure of rapture. Ironic, isn't it? Your philosophical dream was destroyed by the very foundations of that very philosophy. Rapture's downfall was not my philosophy, but the betrayal of it by the weak the envious. It was humanity's failings, not mine. My Vegas accounts for that human flaw. It is why control is necessary, you see. And there will come a time when your people turn on you. Your new Vegas will fall, be usurped, turned to ruin. That is because there is no idea behind your Vegas. Only the broken shell of a man. And yet, here we are. Debating not in the halls of a thriving rapture, but in the shadow of my new Vegas, as it has stood for over 200 years. You could not even predict human nature, much less the very date of the nuclear apocalypse. How do you think I preserved my paradise but through control? 
Your ideals, while noble, were flawed from inception. It takes more than spirit to rebuild the world. It takes vision, control, and yes, technology. Then you may keep your new Vegas. We shall see how long it lasts you. That is incorrect. We will not be seeing it. Only I shall. My Securitrons will be taking care of you. Let me stop you right there, Mr. House. Oh, wonderful. Benny sends his sorry excuse for a turncoat to take me down. Does he think he can stand against me with a single puny Securitron? That's the fun part. I couldn't attack you or your Securitrons, even if I wanted to, and neither can they. What is the meaning of this? Well, you see, the Courier has placed a pacification field within the Lucky 38 until he can personally come here to take you both out of the picture. It's so exciting. Hmm. Unexpected. My calculations place the Courier at only having reached Novak by now. Oh, he's a swift one, I tell you. He's done this loads of times before. Done what, exactly? It's quite the story. The Courier has resolved the conflict in the Mojave hundreds of thousands of times. He has tried every single possible branch to try to reach the perfect outcome for the people of Vegas. I see. The Courier is a time traveler, then. I have heard crazier stories. I suppose the truth is simple. To this Courier, then, seeing as their path always brings them back to me, I am three steps ahead of anywhere they will ever be. And that's where you're wrong! Would you believe me if I said the Courier predicted this very meeting between you and Andrew Ryan? I grow tired of fanciful tales from your machine's house. Kill me or release me, that is my choice. Now command your slave to obey it. And tell me, yes man, what does your courier believe the perfect outcome is? Perhaps he should realize that there is no ideal path, only the one that results in the best outcome for the most amount of people. He said that he couldn't tell me. That it would ruin the surprise. And oh boy, do I love surprises. Time to call your bluff. Securitrons, open fire on Yes Man and Mr. Ryan. Securitrons? Well played, Courier. He knew you would try that. He already tried to bluff you one time, so this time he went all the way to the Big Empty to get the pacification technology. He's so dedicated. And what are his plans for the Lucky 38? given that he has all the technology he needs in the fabled Big Empty. It's really funny you should ask. He's gonna replace your biometric ID with Elon Musk. He thought it was a hilarious idea. Check it out in the top right. Top right of what? I wasn't talking to you, silly. The story is just getting started, so stay tuned. 